So my my talk was um, actually quite uh, uh, quite a nice uh, title um, with um, brain metastases is a systemic anti cancer therapy uh, enough. So it was quite a, a controversial um, title, really, because normally you treat brain metastases with multimodality treatment. You give it with radiotherapy. You could give surgery, then radiotherapy, then with systemic treatment, you treat um, progression of the disease and progression elsewhere. So um, the key data, really, that I've presented is that of um, targeted therapies uh, in the lung cancer space. Um, specifically ALKDA mutationally driven cancers. Um, there's a lot of central nervous system uh, data suggesting that these drugs that are targeting ALK, these are tyrosine kinase uh, inhibitors um, that are targeting ALK driven cancers have very good um, central nervous system penetration. And these drugs, um, the most potent of which is lorlatinib, um, has shown very significant, up to 70 to 80% complete responses, which is really unheard of. And it looks like as if um, survival and progression-free survival is really driven by um, brain metastases in the disease um, compared to drugs that do not cross the blood-brain barrier. So it's a really uh, great leap forward for systemic therapy in that space. The other area which is... Um, particularly pertinent with brain metastases is EGFR mutation driven lung cancer. And um, again, these patients really suffer, um, a high proportion of them suffer from brain metastases. And that's often the reason why uh, control is lost when um, there's resistance in the brain. So the drugs that are being developed is basically looking at that. We know that ozimertinib, which is our first standard of care, is very good penetration into the brain already, but we're looking at other targeted agents. Um, Lazertinib is um, on the horizon, and this is a particularly um, central nervous system penetrant drug. Um, Amivantinib is an antibody which has been given together. Now, we think large molecules are probably not going to penetrate the brain so as well. However, we see that other drugs like antibody drug conjugates do work in the brain quite well in other disease areas, and these are coming into the lung cancer space quite um, rapidly now. So we have a study which is recently opening called the Halthina study, which is looking at um, um, trastuzumab deruxtecan versus um, uh, the uh, your, your standard chemotherapy. We'll see whether that's um, going to help uh, progress um, our, our knowledge into central nervous system and lung cancer. 